Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 7. that beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Psst. Hey, you! In here! Head for the roof! There's no time to lose! Over here! Ha! No, you don't! <laughs> Dr. Freeman, I presume. We'd better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. Back in Black Mesa? I'm sure you don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here. <laughs> here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar! Come out of there! 
Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He's coming with me. Uh, that's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Emma, get it off me! Lamar! There you are! I thought you got rid of that test. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's debeaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly. Get that thing away from me! Here, my pet. Hop up. No, not up there! No! No! Careful, Lamar! Those are quite fragile! Oh, fie! It'll be another week before I can coax her out of there. Yeah, longer if we're lucky. <laughs> Barney! You're not an animal person. <sighs> well, Gordon, go ahead. Get into your suit now. Gordon, I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least, the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. <clears throat> the Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit you up, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from Combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they patrol. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over there and wait for my work. Isaac, are you there? Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a holdup on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is. Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? You're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. No, fiddlesticks. What now? Uh, Doctor, the plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you. Excellent. You gonna let Gordon throw the switch? Gordon, go right ahead. 
See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, Izzy. Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli's. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Au voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final sequence. Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here. I guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by This is the Freeman. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We save the soldiery. Get in here, hurry! Civil protection is on to us. We're tearing up the railroad, covering our tracks. Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with man hats. We better get going before they sweep through here. Too late! That was a close call. Thanks for your help. Hey! You're Freeman, aren't you? We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman 
is on his way downriver. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you can. Repeat, Gordon Freeman has returned. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. You better get going now. Hey, Dr. Freeman. I've been hoping you'd show up. Got this airboat all gassed up and ready to go. You'll find more help at the station. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red barn. Tear down this camp and get out of here. Greetings to the free man. Come on in. I'll show you what you're up against. Here, take a look at this. This here is the dam. It's just up ahead. Eli's hideout is here. A stone's throw from the apron and nestled in the old hydro plant. But getting there, with that hunter chopper on your ass, next to impossible. Good news is, the Vortigaunt's working his magic on your airboat, so you'll have a little more firepower going forward. I think he's just finishing up now. Go on out. There we are. That gun came off one of the same hunter choppers that you're up against. I always like to bring a little irony to the firefight. Take that chopper out. They've got something. Okay, it's it's human. Hello? Take it easy in there. You're safe now. Look, I'll have to forgive the scanning process. We can't take any chances. Dr. Freeman? Gordon Freeman? Is that you? You've made it here this quickly. Well, Eli is going to be amazed, not to mention relieved. I'm Dr. Mossman, Dr. Judith Mossman. I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Clyde when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. He would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based. Similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they've failed to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined in Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis, effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now. All right, good. You keep right up. Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the Resonance Cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat, where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. Ah, oh, Gordon! The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't 
can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. Uh... Take a look at this, Gordon. Alex? I thought you were on watch. The Vortigons relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time, as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex, why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh, let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. This is a gravity gun my father was talking about. You can call it the zero-point energy field manipulator if you really want to. It's designed for handling hazardous materials, but we mainly use it for heavy lifting. Give it a try. The primary trigger emits a charge. You can punch stuff and send it flying. I found it handy for clearing minefields. Now let me call Dog. He loves to play fetch. Dog! Come! Doggy. Gordon, this is Dog. My dad built him to protect me when I was a kid. First model was about yay high. I've been adding to him ever since. Have a night, boy. Okay, Dog, let's play catch with Gordon. You'll need to use the gravity gun. Go ahead, Dog. Throw! Excellent. Scrapyard airlock stuck in a full auto cycle. Is Gordon still with you? He's right here. Good. I want you to. Dad? Take Gordon out of here. Head for the coast. Do not go through rape. Dad? Dad! Damn it! Dog, open the airlock. Get us out of here. Hurry, now! Tear it apart if you have to. Just get it open. That's enough, dog. Come on, Gordon! Come on! Gordon, you need to get out of here! I can't leave my father! Dog, 
Take Gordon to the Raven Home Tunnel, then circle around and try to meet up with me. Hurry! <laughs> ah, who is this? Another life to save? I'll keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot promise. <laughs> well done, brother. Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in them yourself. Behind you! In Ravenholm, you do well to be vigilant. I am Father Grigori. You have already met my congregation. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it is you, brother. I apologize. But no harm done. My bullets are the least of your concerns. Here, brother. Come closer. You've stirred up hell. A <laughs> man after my own heart. Here, I have a more suitable gun for you. You'll need it. Catch! Good. Now, keep it close. My advice to you is, aim for the head. Hush. They come. There is no rest in Ravenhorn. Move on and I will meet you at the church. How came you here, brother? This is the wrong side of town for you. Did I not tell you to seek the church? Mend your ways before it is too late. Ah, there you are. At last. I will send the cart for you, brother. It will be but a moment. Patience, brother. Guard yourself well. No, brother, step into the cart. The handbrake, brother. Release it and come down. Greetings, brother. And so we meet at last. You are to be commended for avoiding my traps. Uh, the work of a man who once had too much time on his hands and now finds time for nothing but the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. As for me, a shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown unruly. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground. Hurry while I hold the gate! Go quickly! Farewell, brother. I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. Look to your own salvation. <laughs> Who's hurt? Winston's been hit. Patch him up and get him to the back as soon as he's stable. Gordon Freeman. It's incredible you made it. We've been getting communications from Alex. I'll see if I can reach her again. Follow me. It's Leon. We're all clear. And I've got Gordon Freeman. Dr. Freeman, you're kidding. Look, I've been on the line with Alex. Her father's been captured. Over here, Dr. Freeman. The Eli Vance is indispensable to the liberation. Alex, it's Leon, and I've got Gordon Freeman with me. Gordon, you made it through Ravenholm. Thank God. I need your help. They've taken my father. He's been taken to Nova Prospect. The Vortigaunts tracked the ship that made off with him and Judith Mossman. 
While the trains are still running, I'm going to hitch a ride. Here's where you come in, Gordon. I need you to make your way along the coast until you get to Nova Prospect. It used to be a high-security prison. It's something much worse than that now. But I think it's still easier to sneak in than to break out. You wanted to take the coast road? You won't last five minutes on foot. It's spawning season for the antlions. That's why I called you, Leon. I was hoping you still had the scout car we left with you last summer. The one my dad rigged with the Tau cannon. Yeah, good idea. Hold on a sec. Norco? Bring the buggy out. Put it on the dock right now. Gordon Freeman will be driving it. Will do. I just finished mounting an ammo crate on the back. Good timing. Okay, Alex, we're all set. <sighs> Thanks, Leon. Gordon, I haven't driven the coast in over a year, but I have no reason to think it's gotten any safer. Meet me in the depot where the trains unload. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you in Nova Prospect. Bye for now. Bye, Alex. Hello, Dr. Freeman. The car's all ready for you. Hop in and I'll lower you down to the beach. Good, here we go. Get in the basement. We're expecting gunships at any moment. This steerable rocket launcher is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Ah, hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, You'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Ah, yes. Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Colonel Odessa Cubbage at your service. Damn. Let me just send a warning to Lighthouse Point, and then I'll come right up and lend a hand. I gather you've disposed of that gunship, Dr. Freeman. Your reputation, sir, is well deserved. I shall have someone open the gate for you immediately so that you can drive on. I understand that Dr. Vance is in great need. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence from that outpost leads me to believe it has come under combined control. Still, you're clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Farewell. And please tell Dr. Vance that Colonel Cubbage regrets not having been able to rescue him in person. Hey, over here! You made it! We're picking up radio chatter. They're looking for your car. Get your car in the garage. Okay, Doc. You'll have to go on foot from here. There's a secret path along the cliffside, but no one's going anywhere until we fight off this attack. Having you here to fight alongside us is going to make a big difference for morale. Oh, crap. Here come the dropships. This way, Dr. Freeman. We'll take the cliff path before another gunship finds us. Someone's... You there! Stop! 
Stop where you are. Stay on the rocks. Don't step on the sand. It makes the antlions crazy. Laszlo, don't move. No. Help! Dear God. Poor Laszlo. The finest mind of his generation. To come to such an end. We were heading for the Vortigaunt camp, hoping to pick up some bug baits of these damn things and leave us alone. But without Laszlo, what's the point? I know you tried to help. I'll stay with him a while. There's something I have to do. Follow. The Freemen will do wise to heed our extraction of the Myrmidon's aromatic pteropods. The process is not entirely hygienic, therefore stand aside. The Freemen will have need of these pteropods on the paths ahead. Gather them now. Three men must follow. The three men will now be instructed in the use of theropods. Attend now and learn to shepherd ant lions with the so-called bug bait. The three men will now break out his theropod and toss one into yonder pit. The three men has done well. The free man can also coax his appliance to attack specific targets. Observe the training mannequin and mark it well with another pheromon. The free man again excels at all tasks. Now, attend well. Apply pressure to your pheromon to signal the appliance in your command to follow you. The free man shows his excellence in all things. And now, this one must bid the free man farewell. Nova Prospect lies just beyond. Remember well what you have learned here. The Eli Vance has greatest confidence in you. I'm glad you made it here in one piece. My dad's up there somewhere, in that holding area. It's gonna take some doing to get him out. Let's get out of here. I'm afraid I'm flying blind here. Every now and then a Vortigon gets captured and sends back information, but we don't have a complete picture of the place. The little we do know is all bad. Get ready. This will get me into their security system. Now, to find my father. Oh my god. These poor people. There! Alright, I think I can bring him in. There! He's on the way. Let's go meet him. There he is! Let me see if I can get this open. Alex, Gordon, is that really you? I can't believe you found me. Dad, are you all right? I'm fine, but you, you've got to get out of here. We're here to get you out, Dad. Never mind me. Save yourselves! No, we're not leaving you. I think I can recalibrate the Combine portal to get us out of here. But where will you go? I talked to Dr. Kleiner. His portal was almost working again. If he's managed to repair it, we'll end up there. If he hasn't, well... We couldn't be any worse off. It's not worth the risk, Alex. I can't lose you. Get out while you can. We're not leaving here without you. That's final! We can't leave Judith here either. 
Don't worry, Dad. We'll find her. For now, I'm going to send you to the teleport chamber. I'm not saying goodbye, Dad. We'll meet you there. I know you will. I'll see you there, baby. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna head back to the security station and try to patch into your suit radio. Wait till you hear from me. Hey, take care of yourself. Sorry it took me so long. Glad to see you're okay. Let's see if we can find Mossman. It looks like this station might give me better access. There she is! Wait a minute. How'd she... It's from your area. I I'm not calling about that. What's she up to? You, you promised you weren't going to touch Eli. Oh my the god. The soldiers were a bit overzealous, I admit, but he was too tempting a prize to simply turn loose. Especially in the absence of Gordon Freeman. You would have had Freeman if you'd been patient and just waited for my signal. We weren't entirely sure you were ever going to get around to that. Human loyalties being what they are. Dr. Br- As I have stated before, you have to let Eli come around on his own. I have catch. known Dr. Vance far longer than you, my dear. I'm afraid your feelings for him may have blinded you. Feelings? This has nothing to do with feelings. It's a simple truth that when Eli believes this in This is not open to debate, Dr. Mossman. Doctor, please. So sorry, Judith. I'm all out of time. Damn her! I don't believe this! Come on, Gordon. Now we've really got to hurry. Go on ahead. I'll disrupt the next level of security and catch up with you when I can. Great, another security station. All right, Mossman, where are you? Ha. Founder. Ha! Got you now! Uh-oh. Well, come on, Gordon. We don't want to keep her waiting. Come on! Let me seal this door. No turning back now. There she is. Leave it talking to me, Gordon. We may need her to get out of here. Hello? Oh, thank God, someone. Alex? Gordon, how did, you, how did you get in here? We know all about you and Brain. What? You've, You've been, been a spy for the Combine the whole time. What are you talking about? Damn it! Move back, Mossman. We're coming in. Alex, whatever you may think, I assure you, I have worked to protect your father. Shut up and be glad you're still some use to us. We're going to reconfigure this teleport and get the hell out of here. You see, we're working to the same end. I've already reprogrammed the modulator to emulate a Zen relay. That's my father's work you stole. It's my work, too. And I had to prove to Dr. Breen that your father would be the most valuable member of any research effort going Enough forward. Enough of your here. bullshit! Look, Gordon, there's my dad. I'm going to bring him in. You found Eli? No thanks to you. Just enter the coordinates for Dr. Kleiner's lab and let's get moving. But we need access to the teleport platform and we're locked out. I'll take care of that. Let's get going. Oh my god. And you've been working with this thing? For how long? Never. Until now. I did have a fairly good idea of what to expect. I'll bet you did. It looks like it's waiting for us. The Combine used a peculiar pulse-forming network with a very long rise time. It takes quite a while to recharge. So you've warmed it up for us. Good. And just in time. Dad, down there! Sorry we took so long. I hope that wasn't too bad for you. 
Don't worry about me, sweetheart. Judith! I see they set you free! Not exactly. Eli! I was so worried about you. The coordinates, Dr. Mossman. So, this is the combine. It's smaller than I imagined. Hurry up, Mossman! Dr. Kleiner! Yes, Alex! Where are you? We're in Nova Prospect, and we're running the Zen emulation for the first time. Are you ready for us? Ready, willing, and fully enabled. Good. We'll send my dad through first. He's in position for... What's that? Hold on, gotta bring this back down. No! Stop! What are you doing? I'm sorry, Alex. It's the only no. way. No! What's going on, Dad? Alex? Judith! No. What's happening? Set the portal. Gordon, use the turrets. God, it's done. Let's get the hell out of here. These readings are scaring me. Okay, Doc, we're locked on. I await your arrival with great anticipation. Come on, Gordon. Get in. How did you get here? And when? What's wrong? My dear, I... I had given up hope of ever seeing you again. I was afraid we might not make it either. I think the teleport exploded just as we were porting out. Indeed, it did. And the repercussions were felt far and wide, but that was over a week ago. What do you mean? Gordon and I were just there a minute ago. Fascinating. We seem to have developed a very slow teleport. This suggests an entirely new line of investigation. A week? Then what have we missed? A great deal, my dear. The blow you struck at Nova Prospect was taken as a signal to begin the uprising. But what about my father? Well, that is most troubling. According to the Vortigaunts, he is a prisoner at the Citadel. We've got to get my father out. Barney has been leading a push with that very aim in mind. And another of your friends arrived several days ago. Dog, you made it! Good boy! <laughs> so there, you see? It's not all hopeless. I wish I shared your optimism, Doctor. Doc, come in! Are you there? Hey, Doc, are you there? Yes, Barney. And I'm no longer alone. Alex and Gordon have just arrived. Well, man, that's good news. I almost gave you guys up for lost. We're planning to set up a staging area for attacking the Citadel. Gordon and Dog can head your way. I want to get Dr. Kleiner somewhere safer. Then I'll meet up with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Aw, oh, crap! Incoming! Go on! Get going! Okay, Gordon, you heard him. I'll catch up with you as soon as I get Dr. Kleiner settled. Just a minute. I can't leave without Lamar. Oh, no. Now, where did she get to? Take care of yourself out there.
the accomplishments of humanity fated to be nothing. Dr. Freeman? We're coming with you. With you here, Dr. Freeman, we can finally make some headway. Hey, it's me. Open the door. Wait for me, Dr. Freeman. I'll come with you. Gordon! I had a feeling I'd find you here. I've got Dr. Kleiner in a safe spot. Now we can join up with Barney. There's a command center downstairs. I'm hoping to find information about generator locations. Ready? Let's go. Well, we're in luck. There's a generator in the square outside. We're trying to disable as many as we can to loosen the Combine's grip on this sector. It'll take me a few minutes to expose the core, then I'll need you to hit it with a burst from the gravity gun. In the meantime, watch my back. This shouldn't take too long. As soon as the generator's down, I'll open that gate and we can get out of here. Okay, the core's exposed. Use the gravity gun, Gordon. Okay. Barney should be on the far side of that... canal. Well, there used to be a bridge here. Let me see if I can scout a new path. Ah, wait for me here. Hey! Looks like we might be able to get through down there! Let's head that way. Ah, no! Dr. Freeman! Barney said you were on the way. We got split up by snipers, and he's pinned down in a warehouse up ahead. Go ahead. He's relying on you. Gordon, I can't move. These snipers got me pinned down. Gordon, lob a couple grenades. That'll clear him out. All right, thanks, Gordon. There's an old building up ahead, a, a bank or a museum or something like that. Whatever the hell it used to be, now it's a nexus for Overwatch in City 17. It's the main source of pain for this part of town, thanks to a huge suppression device that's raining down hell from the roof of that place. There it is, the Overwatch Nexus. Looks like they're mobilizing big time. You can sort of see the gate from here. I'll show you when we get to street level. We'll have to get in that building to open the gate. Even then, the suppression device will, uh, suppress anyone coming through unless we shut it down. First, you gotta get into the Texas building. Look at that! And finality! If we want to get through these shields, we'll take out the generators one at a time. One generator to go! That's it, they're all down. That'll shut down the suppressor on the roof as well. Let's head for the roof now, Gordon. Done. Freeman, I'm gonna stay wait. here and we'll keep these gates you. open long enough to make a difference. Go on up and connect the sky bridge. We need to let reinforcements come through from every possible direction. Since you shut off the suppressor and opened the gate, we can really move people through now. The Combine's gonna feel the squeeze. We dropped a crate of rockets coming across the plaza. If you can make it there, you should have everything you need to take down these striders. Dr. Freeman! It's a mess out there. This close to the Citadel, they've turned the streets over to Striders. I think we can push them back if we can just get to high ground. We're almost to the Citadel wall, Doc. I don't know how the hell we're gonna breach it, but you made it this far. I'm sure you'll think of something.
Here, boy, dog. Come back here, dog. Oh. Gordon, hey, help me out here. Dog came crashing through the plaza, knocking over walls, and I think he's looking for Alex. He seems to have it set in his head that she's in the Citadel. I figured Alex wouldn't want him getting any deeper in trouble, but hell, you try stopping him. Hey, dog, you're not there. You can't get through that way. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Well, I am nothing if not pragmatic. Take him from here. Don't struggle. It's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Carbon stars with ancient satellites colonized by sentient fungi, gas giants inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences, worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself. If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. 
having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex, I need... Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? <sighs> Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. <sighs> don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. <laughs> Judith, what do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Don't. Hurry! Dad, hang on. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna... No! Don't worry about me. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. That's my girl. Gordon. We haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. Hey, listen! That's him! Oh, shit. Damn it! Not again! <gasps> the gravity gun. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue, does he? I wonder where he's going. <laughs> Citadel's dark fusion reactor. It powers their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. I can't shut it down. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. You'll have to go into the core and do what you can. 
Get in the elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge up your suit. Do your worst, Gordon. But be careful. Dr. Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from here, in another universe as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. Is it really that time again? It seems as if you only just arrived. You've done a great deal in a small time span. You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Ordinarily, I wouldn't contemplate them, but these are extraordinary times. Hmm? Rather than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Dr. Freeman. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well... I'm really not at liberty to say. In the meantime, this is where I get off. Lamar? Lamar! Blast that little... Where did she get to? Yeah. <laughs> 